Hey. Hey, Shauna. How are you? I'm good. How are things? Yeah, I'm not bad. Thanks. Keep on well. Good. Good, good to hear. So I saw Pixie last night. Um, oh, yeah, okay. I did. Congratulations. Um, I think it was like the perfect balance of like darkness and comedy that I just needed in 2020. Okay. <laughs> I just felt like I really needed to laugh at some really inappropriate stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's been a while since we could do those do those things. <laughs> I completely forgot what was going on in the world. You know, I was yeah. just like, yeah, we're in the, we're in this deal. This is what's mm. happening. Mm. <laughs> so what was it like to film it? Oh, it was a blast, you know. Um, yeah. For me, yeah, it was w one of my first kind of um, lead roles in, in a film. So um, I had a lot of fun just being on set that often and just kind of working with both Ben and Olivia. Um, and also, I just had loved the script from the second I read it. You know, it's such kind of a journey, like a whirlwind of a road trip. So to just kind of then be in the process of making it and try and, you know, see how it comes out. You know in real real form so yeah it was a lot of fun and and the three of us just got on so well that we we just had a great time really like it didn't feel like work at all you know that's funny because you were like in this like sense of stress constantly throughout it that i was like i feel your tension so it felt like it must have been like a really intense shoot but maybe it was just all fun and games behind the scenes yeah like it was <laughs> I, that's i love playing my character because he's the kind of panicker he's like the one the one who's first to think of like what could be the worst case scenario of every situation so yeah. that was a lot of fun because it's just you know he's just like yeah he's kind of uncontrollable at times but um in between takes you know we just we just bounced off one another and and you know the the, the energy on set was very calm so like um yeah i could jump into moments of complete uh chaos and stress and then then just come back out and have fun laugh yeah i love that so obviously we are with omniplex cinemas um and cinema mm. means everything to us so what's your favorite thing about going to the cinema well i used to go in and out to an omniplex in uh, limerick because i'm from nina in Tipperary. i know yeah I, and I we have the cinema in nina now too yeah i know yeah. Yeah, I, I heard and that was that was up until recent enough so um shout out to omniplex for this thank yeah. you I, I, yeah i used to go in and out to um to Omniplex growing up uh, and Castle Troy because the, the shopping center is right beside it. So cinema to me means a lot because, I mean, I, I grew up just going to the cinema every weekend with my mom. You know, she she brought me in and out every weekend and we'd go and shop and go to cinema or have McDonald's or whatever. And yeah. and for me then as, a per, as someone who's now making kind of my living or kind of I can call myself an actor, like, um, yeah, that's, I mean, cinema and being in the cinema growing up was very much where I got inspired to continue to do this and put up with the kind of the rough times and the good times and all sorts of things. So it, it means, it means a lot to me for sure. Well, um, that's great to hear. Um, obviously mm -hmm. it means a lot to us too, but the most important cinema qu question is like, what's your combo? So like mm -hmm. when you're up at the shop and you're deciding on the snacks, like what, what's it okay. going to be? Are you a classic? Are you I'm a bit classic. weird? I, I mean, know. you know, so like when when the sweet and salty mix with the um with the sweet yeah sweet popcorn yeah. mix with salt that changed a lot. You know, I was yeah. I licked it for a long time because I was a standard like salty medium salty and f medium fanta guy, right? Okay. I would keep it simple like that. Um, if we were feeling really like you know um like we want to treat ourselves, we buy a bag of minerals, mix it in popcorn. Yeah. That's that's also a classic. So yeah. um. Uh, that would be my my go-to snack is a medium combo medium drink medium thing but my my whole thing is that i'd, I'd have it eaten by the time the trailers are done you know 100 percent. you know yeah. which makes more sense though because like throughout the film if, if there's tense bits and you just go you know with your popcorn exactly what are you gonna do but it doesn't feel right not to have it in the same no way, no i feel know? like i feel naked going to the cinema without getting popcorn and a drink yeah, like who are those people just like walking in the door without their hands full? Who are you? Like, <laughs> you are easily making it to your feet. Who are you? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. You have to do yeah. the shimmy with the two in your hand. Hundred you know? percent. Yeah, yeah, that's that's sure. part of the journey. You know, it is. It is. Yeah, and like I suppose for twenty twenty, Pixie is now lined up to be one of the biggest releases that we have this year, which is mm. amazing. Yeah. Why do you think people should come out and see it on the big screen? Well, I mean, of course, it's, it's been such a weird year and like obviously with like safety wise and everyone needs to kind of go at their own pace with things. But I mean, for people who are just look, wanting to get a bit of normality and just have that kind of um, experience of going to the cinema, having a laugh, 
kind of forgetting about your life literally for an hour and a half. I mean, that's what cinema does, you know, and, and, and fun films do. I mean, you just forget about your concerns and things for, for that time. And, and Pixie, I just feel like it's that kind of film to do that really. It's just, just so much going on. Um, it's like, you know, has its own humor and it's just, it's you, I'm, I feel like you'll just kind of forget about your worries for, for that bit of time that you're watching the film. So if, if people do feel safe to go to the cinema, I'd love to hear that people are going and wanting to go experience it on the big screen. Okay, and do you think it's one you bring your mom to, or are you thinking this is like a family kind of, like friends kind of vibe? I think um, I think it depends on how cool your mom is, really. You know. Yeah. Okay. Your so mom, your mom, you would bring. My mom is pretty cool. My okay. mom, my mom is down to would would be fine to see it. Um, and also because like me and mom, uh, my mom used to always go into the cinema on the weekends. I want to I want to go back and this time go see one of you know what film that i mean so i i'll totally be down to bring my mom but i'll also be you know if i'm going again i'll bring her friends it's totally it just yeah. depends depends on how cool your mom is really yeah okay i get that well if you ever want to um hit us up um, and let us know that you guys want to come in we do have some people and special guests come into the screen sometimes just to see their own movies oh, but I, I hear it's a super weird experience to watch yourself on the biggest screen while other people are watching it. How do you feel about this? Are, are we feeling positive? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, this, this will be my first time doing this. I mean, apart from maybe going to a premiere, uh, you know, for like Peaky and stuff, I've watched it on, on this big screen, but yeah. for like a, a, having a film in the cinema, this is like my first time. And uh, I actually went to see a film the other day um, in Leicester Square and, um, and Pixie, the trailer, Pixie just popped up on the screen. No. I was like, oh! <laughs> like, I was, <laughs> That's I, me! <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. My mate was beside me. He was just like, you know, like. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, it'll be a bit, of course, it'll be a bit nerve, nerve-wracking, but because I think I've done a lot of theatre as well. And I think the thing yeah. is, when you're doing performance theatre, you're on stage and you're actually doing it. So you can't, you don't really have time to take in whether or not, I guess, they're loving it or not, you know. Um, Whereas I've never really sat in a cinema and watched a film I'm in. So, but it'll be exciting, I'm sure, to, to experience it. Absolutely. And my last wrap up question, we're going to have a lot of um, struggling actors and people who are writing amazing scripts right now. Any piece mm. of advice for them where I'm getting on the big screen? Yeah, I mean, I think it's look, I think it's such a weird time for a lot of artists. Like it feels very uncertain for a lot of people. Um, but I, I mean, I think ultimately like creativity, despite what goes on in the world, it can never really leave. So like if you do have passion to write something or to make something, I, I never really feel like the world will ever get to a place where art can't be a thing, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, for me, I've been just kind of reflecting, you know, during this downtime and um, it's given me kind of another reboot to be excited to go and work again. And, and yeah, I mean, the other day I was walking through London, I saw a film set and I just like, uh, I went by just to figure out what they were doing and just to see people even again on a set and, you know, doing all that stuff, it, it got me excited about, you know, working again. Um, so, yeah, I think just, yeah, hang tight for most people, you know, and I feel like some sort of normality will eventually come back. Amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today, Daryl. Absolutely, we are excited to see it in Omniplex Cinemas very soon. Amazing. Thank you very much.